Welcome back to the channel. My name is Douglas and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to split and layer sounds on the MPC key 61. Now, unlike a lot of the other videos I've made where I talk about recording, demoing the sounds and things like that, this starts to cross over a little bit more into using the MPC key in a live setting. So if you're in the studio, chances are you're not going to be using these key ranges of splits and layers as much because you're going to be doing these as separate tracks anyway. But when you're using it live, if you want to layer sounds and split sounds, this is kind of where it starts to cross over from recording workstation to live and performance. So hopefully this gives you a good idea. I'm going to try to talk from the angle of using this live and instantly muting or unmuting the different layers so that we can switch sounds without having to wait for the keyboard to load those into memory. So let's jump over to the MPC key and let's check some things out. So over here, the first thing I wanna show you is how to even get to the place where you start splitting and layering sounds. If we click on our sounds button, there's this button down here that says key ranges. So if we tap on key ranges, this is our page that we can set up our layers and splits and the different sounds that we want to play. And I'm going to talk a little bit more on how you can use this to load up your different sounds and alternate between them very quickly here in a minute. But let's just talk about this screen as it stands here. So you can see that I have piano, strings, EP, and pad. It gives me some information. I have my track name here. And then over here in small writing, you can see the actual sound or the instrument and then the sound within that instrument that's selected. I can alternate between these by tapping on them. And I can also use the encoder or the plus minus buttons to switch between them as well. So maybe the piano. And it is seamless, so if I'm on the piano, and then I switch to the EP, it holds out the notes that I was playing on the sound before. Really cool, and you could definitely use this from a live setting. Set up your sounds. Song one, I have the piano. And my next song starts. Halfway through that song, I have the electric piano that comes in. So a really cool way that you can switch between sounds really quickly. Now we're gonna talk about the layers and the splits here in a minute, but first I wanna talk about how I got to this point. How did I get piano strings, EP and pad? Well, basically these are tracks and you can see up here, we actually have our tracks here. So I can actually scroll through my tracks, which is doing the same thing as selecting them here. And what I can do is I can have up to eight plugin programs and then I can have drum programs as well. So I could have at least nine layers, so to speak, but I don't have to use them as layers. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So to set this up, you're going to set each of these tracks up. And we're actually going to do that with a fifth track here. So we've got piano, strings, EP, and pad. Let's go over to our main track view and let's scroll through the tracks. So I have piano, strings, EP, and pad. Those are my tracks that I've got set up here in my sequence. So what I did is I went in and I set each of these up and let's go in and let's set up a fifth one here. So plugin program five, let's go in and let's choose maybe baseline, fat sign. So let's go in and name this bass so that when we see it from our layered view, we can actually know what sound it is very quickly. So that's our bass. And if we go back to our key ranges, you'll notice now that bass is in there. So I've got the pad and then I've got the bass. 
and I'm holding the sustain pedal. So technically they layered, but it was because I was holding the sustain pedal on the pad. So now you know kind of simply how to set these up. These are just tracks and we can actually add a new track from here as well. So if we tap track, we can go in and we can add the different types of tracks. So again, plug-in tracks, we can have up to eight of those. And theoretically, you could have more than that if you used the same plug-in program on two different tracks. And this might be if you wanted to have certain effects, maybe a very delayed piano, you could have that on one track and then a normal version of that piano on another. You could do that with two tracks referencing the same plug-in program. I won't go into that much detail here, but let's go in and add a drum track here. So we're gonna pick that and then we're gonna go over to our assigned samples. I'm gonna browse and let's throw. Let's go ahead and load that to our program. And then we're gonna go to our track and we're gonna pick that kit. Perfect. So now if we go back to our key ranges, we've got track six here. Well, let's go rename that to drums drums and then now if we go back to our key ranges you'll see we have our drums here now what's interesting here is you'll notice i don't have the ability to play my drums with my drum pads instead what it's doing is setting up these pads as mute groups when i'm inside this view so i could play them here or i could jump to here and then go to my key ranges to jump back to it. So that might be a bit of a pain when it comes to layering sounds with your drums. So just keep that in mind. But let's go in here and talk about layering first. So we've got all of our tracks set up. We know how to play each one independently. But what if we want to layer piano and strings together or piano and EP together? Well, the best way to do that is to hold shift and then tap on the arm button beside all of the tracks that we want potentially layered together. So I don't want to layer my drums, but I potentially want to layer all of my other sounds. If I play this now. Everything's layered together. Well, I don't want my bass. I don't want my pad. And let's just go with piano and strings. And again, these are set up as track mutes. So I can actually mute everything except the piano and strings. Maybe I want to switch to my electric piano and pad. Let's bring the strings in as well. Let's bring that piano in. Maybe we want to pull the strings and the pad out. So that is how we layer by arming multiple tracks and then we can use our mutes within that to actually control what sounds we're playing. So you could arm them all. Start your song with a piano. So that is layering. Now let's take it a step further and talk about splits. So to split, all we have to do is drag one end or the other of our track here in the layer. So let's say that I only want strings and pad to be down in the lower half of my key range. All I need to do is click and drag to half on both of these.
And let's say with baseline that we also want that only down in this register. And let's actually take our pad and move that up. So let's enable our pad and we're gonna move that. So you can see, I can drag all around in here. So I've got my piano over the whole thing. I've got the strings down in here. I have my bass down in the lower. So maybe I wanna pull my piano up. Let's take the strings and bring them up with the piano as well. I actually need to bring my bass up a little bit more and shift these. You're seeing an 88 key right here. So technically my range is about there. Bring that up as well. And you can see as I'm playing, my lowest note is down here. That's my lowest and my highest. So that's my range right there. So I very quickly am able to drag around my splits and layers. And then I can also tap on a track and I can say learn min or learn max. And what that's gonna do is allow me to play a note and it moves that range. So learn min, let's say I want it here. So now very quickly without needing to drag anything, I've defined the range in which I want the EP. Really quickly, I've got one, two, three, four, five layers here with some splits in there. All very easy with this multi-touch display. And I've set that up. And that's kind of a raw example of how you can use this. Really more of the concepts than here's a perfectly layered sound. But hopefully that gives you an idea of the concepts behind splitting and layering. The power that's within this key ranges page here. And then of course, we can slide out, we can go to our different modes from here, or we can view our track details, change volumes of each of our tracks here. So we could actually go in and we could change volumes very quickly. Just some nice little settings in here that we can tweak as we move through these with the encoder tapping on them or here. Um, and we can just go in and change some of the settings very quickly uh, right without needing to go into any of our other menus. So I hope that was helpful in giving you an idea of what the MPC key is capable of when it comes to splitting and layering sounds. If you've got any questions, throw those down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Do you think this is a viable option for a live instance or do the limitations kind of keep you from wanting to use this on stage? So let me know in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching. Stay inspired and keep making that music.